Hey guys, it's Vishy here. You watching Next AP? Inspiration can strike anywhere, isn't it? A few days back, I had ordered some pizza. So, while eating the pizza, I found out that by holding the pizza in a particular position, you are able to prevent the pizza from drooping down. Let me explain it with this piece of paper. Consider this piece of paper to be the pizza. When I hold the pizza, I pick it up like this. It falls down. It droops down. But when I give it a slight fold in this region, it doesn't fall. I was wondering what could be the reason behind this. And then I stumbled upon Gauss theory of curvatures. He said that the curvature of a substance is the intrinsic property of it. which means the curvature of a point or a substance can't change whatever way you may bend it the curvature won't change i was surprised while i heard it too then i decided to research upon it further then i read more and more of gauss work Gauss didn't tell the world how to eat pizza but I believe he has indirectly helped us explain how just by folding the pizza we are able to eat it well it doesn't fall down the contents don't fall down doesn't droop down you can see the two videos over here in the first one you can see me eating the pizza i just lift the pizza as it is the forward part droops down but when i give it a slight bend in the center this doesn't happen in this video i'll be explaining to you the science behind this i'll be telling you about how curvature of a substance doesn't change unless you break the substance into two so curvature is the intrinsic property of a substance which cannot be changed this is what gauss said gauss called the theorem of curvatures as the theorema egregium which in english means the remarkable theorem it indeed is a remarkable theorem using these things here i'll be showing you what a curvature is when something curves inward it's known as a negative curvature and when something curves outwards it's known as a positive curvature according to gauss to find the curvature at a particular point we need to multiply the two curvatures that pass at 90 degrees so this is a negative curvature and this is a positive curvature so the net curvature at this point is a negative curvature now coming to this side here to find the curvature at this point we need to multiply this line by this line the curvature of this line by this line so here this is a positive curvature here this is a positive curvature and hence this point is also having a positive curvature now going on to the next object this one here there is a negative curvature and this is a positive curvature let us find the curvature at this point over here there is a negative curvature here and there is a positive curvature here so the net curvature at this point is also negative which is the product of these two coming to this point over here we need to multiply the curvatures of these two lines this is a positive curvature this is also a positive curvature because it goes outwards so the net curvature at this point is positive you can notice at one point here the negative curvature changes to positive curvature because the bottle bends in such a way hope you enjoyed the video till now guys if you did so just smash the like button and do subscribe to next ap similarly in this one too there is a region where the 
positive curvature becomes a negative curvature and again becomes a positive curvature. Now let me explain it to you with the help of a piece of paper. What Gauss said was that curvature is an intrinsic property of a material. So let me draw a line now. This line has zero curvature. So let me fold this paper along this line. Now to find the curvature at a point over here, we need to multiply the curvature of this line by the curvature of this line. This line has a positive curvature. but what Gauss said was that the curvature is the intrinsic property of a substance. So the curvature should not change. It should be zero, right? So what happens? This is a straight line and has zero curvature. So hence the product of these two, this point also has a zero curvature. Even if this thing goes inside, this would have a negative curvature and this would be zero curvature. So this point would have a zero curvature. Consider this to be three slices of a pizza. When I pick up this piece, this droops down. It bends forward. So, this is a line which has zero curvature. So, when I pick this up, all points in this line have zero curvature. So, it droops down. But by bending this this way, this remains straight. We are able to eat the pizza well by holding the slice this way because by holding the slice this way what happens is that all points on this line have zero curvature but I told you saying the curvature of a substance is an intrinsic property of it so the curvature can't change right let me explain it how and what happens when you bend the pizza initially let us consider it to be a center point Initially, this had zero curvature and now what happens is that while I hold the pizza this way, this has a negative curvature. This has, this has a negative curvature. This has a negative curvature now. It's no longer zero. But to compensate for this, all points along this line get a zero curvature. Hence, the product of these two is also zero. Hence, the curvature of all points along this line does not change. This is how eating a pizza becomes more easy by just folding the pizza this way. In case you were to eat the pizza like this, this would droop down forward and you would spill out all the contents of the pizza from the forward end of it. So next time you eat a pizza, just bend it. It helps all the content to stay inside the pizza base. Thanks to Goss. That's it guys. Hope you liked the video. For more such videos, do subscribe to Nick Sapien. This is Swishy signing off.